Hello people on the internet and welcome to a new video tutorial on this series about data mining the social media with Python. And today we are going to talk about volume and how we can put use create maps with Python with this library. So definitely check out this link about volume and read the documentation. Uh, Folium is a Python library that allows generating interactive maps with minimum effort. Folium offers a bridge between the data processing capabilities of uh, Python and the UI opportunities offered by JavaScript. Specifically, it allows the Python developers to integrate GeoJSON and TopoJSON data with the Leaflet library, one of the most feature-rich front-end libraries to build interactive maps. The advantage of using a library such as Folium is that it handles the translation between Python data structures and JavaScript, HTML, and CSS components seamlessly. From the point of view of a Python developer, no knowledge of front-end technologies is required, as we can remain in the Python territory and simply dump the output of the library into an HTML file. Or we, or we can also visualize it directly from a Jupyter Notebook. I'm using a Jupyter Notebook for markdown purposes, but because uh, we have to split up the different parts of some of the applications, I'm using Sublime Text for the ease of use, so others uh, viewers can use their favorite uh, text editor. So I'm not using this in, in um, Jupyter Notebook. So the library can be installed with uh, in our virtual environment if you have a virtual environment using pip, uh, pip install volume. And we have, I have a sample script here that showing, shows a simple, simple map centered around Europe that shows two markers, one on top of London and one on top of Paris. So let me just clear this up. And the script takes one argument using argument parser to choose the output file and can be run, for example, using this command. So I hope you had the time to pause the video and copy this code if you want to follow along. So once we run the script, the example map, which is, should be created in our um, our uh, folder, working folder. So we can open it with Google Chrome, for example. And it creates the output that can be visualized in a browser. This is the output and it creates beautiful, beautiful maps, which are scrollable really detailed stuff pretty awesome huh so the core logic of the script is implemented by the make map function firstly we will create a folium dot map object centered at a specific location which is an array of latitude and longitude coordinates and with a specific zoom the zoom start attribute accepts an integer using a lower number means we are zooming out looking at the bigger picture while a bigger number is equivalent to zooming in once the map is created we can attach custom markers to it the sample script shows how to create markers with a specific location and a ball balloon like pop-up attached to it so in this example the marker located in paris has been clicked and it shows where the location is And same can done, be done for London. So this is a uh, basic exa example of how to use volume. And now we can uh, apply these concepts to our data sets of tweets, the stream data. So this example shows how to load a list of markers from a GeoJSON file, similar to the one we previously built and pause the video and copy the code 
what this does is it takes the the stream uh, that we create stream of tweets that we create from earlier uh, world poetry uh, example and it maps out okay uh, let me just explain this uh, in another way the script use argument parser as usual and it can be run by running uh, like this so the geo JSON argument is used to pass the file that is previously created which contains the GeoJSON information. The dash dash map argument is used to provide the name of the output file. So let's run it. Uh, 